All right, just making a quick little video on making some homemade chili for the first time. I've never made it from scratch, believe it or not. But uh, anyway, this is my first attempt at doing that. Anyway, um, I was going to pan around here. Unfortunately, um, I don't have any good way to record anything with a tripod or anything so I can multitask. So I've already made the chili and it's just sitting on the stove simmering, but... Um, anyway, just going to give you a little rundown here and, uh, pan around back to the stove. So, but, uh, yeah, it's actually looking and tasting pretty good, but I actually consulted my older brother who is the chili cooking connoisseur. I got a couple of his special ingredients in there as well as a couple of mine. kind of wishing I'd have maybe did the beans a little bit longer but tastes really good I put a I put some ghost pepper oil in it that I uh, extracted and um, from ghost peppers that I I grew a couple years ago it's not as hot as what you think um, once it's diluted in stuff like this it's just gives it a little extra heat. That and some chili powder. But I wouldn't drink a shot of it or nothing, but anyway. But well that's simmering, but anyway, I was just gonna like pan a little bit here on the kitchen. I've been working on this house for a little while now. It's a built in nineteen twenty eight. Did the cabinets and floor and yeah I got stuff sitting down there I'm working on an electric outlet underneath the sink trying to uh, get it power up from the basement for my UV sterilizer for my uh, reverse osmosis system the only thing under there is a switched outlet for the garbage disposal and that just won't work because it needs to be power all the time but these cabinets were a real dark shellac glossy finish you know, homemade here on site in, uh, you know, this old house, but that wasn't my look. And they had these diamond patterns on the center of the doors, and I peeled all them off and then patched and wood fillered. And then this has quite a few coats of some special uh, cabinetry paint. It's a Sherwin-Williams color. It's called Reposé Gray. It's the same as like bears shark fin or something like that I think they call it but yeah there's stuff on the counters I'm a single dude live by myself I got a little dog and I just got back from a week of fishing so I've been on vacation so if you don't like stuff on the countertops close your eyes but anyway and part of this remodel here in the kitchen I didn't have a microwave, I didn't have them cabinets above the microwave or the refrigerator. So I put all that in, wired an outlet up into that cabinet for the microwave. And that little space right here, that was going to be a dead space with one of them little blanks on there until I came up with that idea for that little spice rack. Now, that's not all my spices, but that's like stuff I use quite frequently. And uh, got another, you know, that's where you put the stuff that you never use. So, you know, going into it, I already knew what was going up there I'd never use. So, and that's what's up there. Stuff you never use. But, anyway. There's the chili. But, I've just been letting it simmer for a little bit longer. I already had a bowl earlier, but I was just letting it go. I got a bunch of extra beans over here too. I'm going to make a pot of uh, uh, ham and bean soup tomorrow. But anyway, this is all this tile. I had to do this. Um, had to level the floor. It took a while. It had a couple high and low spots. And I had to put those jack posts in down in the basement. And then crank them a little bit. And tighten them up. And then I had to 
to float the floor to level it just so I didn't start popping grout joints and cracking tile no sense doing all that work and spending all that money just to have it you know break but anyway but I did the butcher block countertops I actually added this uh, I added this cabinet over here too that wasn't there but one thing I'm still working on though how I'm gonna f finish it off though is I had to recess the dishwasher under there because I had to raise the floor so far up so I had to uh, kind of leave that be like a stair step there to get the dishwasher in and out that's a new one that I put in and uh, but I'm probably just gonna grout that in with a real th thin layer so if I have to take the dishwasher out for any reason it's not a big deal to just bust it out so but anyway it's all wired underneath there I've got uh, the wiring for LED lighting but I did the backsplash that's called a random trapezoid pattern and uh, the um, the the grout and the caulking that I did around the edges actually match it's uh, all a ma pay color like it's dove gray or something like that but anyway wired in this new LED light too it's dimmable but I got that three-way switch that I put in or not three-way switch but three position switch uh, bottoms for the uh, garbage disposal in the middle one is what's going to control my LED lighting and uh, I've got the controller for that that's all wired in up here and that's a that's the dimmer switch where uh, I control the uh, the light above the sink kind of not the way maybe some people would have done it but that's how it was when they wired this up and that's where the power was and without recreating the wheel that's what we did but I did the uh, the wood wood butcher block countertops I did all this myself it's the first time I ever did butcher block countertop and uh, I want to say I th think I hope it turned out pretty good this uh, sink was a ordeal that was uh, I had to cut the cabinetry out and put that big old thing in there it's an apron front farmhouse sink and uh, it's just a glacier bay it's a it's a nobody sink but I spent the money where it counted and that's the mowing nori pre-rinse faucet I love that thing but and I got the giant cans over there for the utensils gotta love that kind of stuff and then that little thing right there that is a collapsible shelf that folds down when not in use and it is a cutoff off of one of the countertops and I got there's my extra beans that I'm going to use tomorrow in my my ham and bean suit but anyway uh hope you enjoy I know I kind of hijacked this post on cooking chili and kind of turned it into something about the kitchen but anyway just sharing my remodel with you I'm uh three years into a five-year remodel so but I'm getting there I'm getting there anyway let's take one more look at the chili real quick before we sign off see what's happening I got some got some bubble action going on so it's simmering nice simmering good anyway I hope you guys enjoy maybe this makes you hungry and uh, makes you want to cook some homemade chili thanks for watching